A local man is lucky to be alive after fainting on a walk earlier this year. But it's not only who helped him, but what helped him that his doctor says really made all the difference here. WLWT News Size Meredith Stutz shares a story you'll only see here on WLWT this morning. Meredith. Hey, good morning to you both. We spoke with 83 year old William Fire here at Christ Hospital, who considers himself a bit of a tech junkie, even though he's been around longer than cell phones. But it's his cell phone and other tech that came in more handy than he could have ever imagined. Here inside Christ Hospital, William Fire told us about what happened on February 6th when something didn't feel right during a walk at Lunkin Airport. And I noticed my legs were turning to rubber. And I got up close to where I would have gone behind some trees and I decided, no, if I'm going to go down, I'm going to do it out here where everybody could see me. William fainted. That's when his Apple Watch alerted 911 and his family after detecting the fall. It helped me out when I needed it. First responders rushed him to Christ Hospital, where William learned he had a massive pulmonary embolism. Mr. Fryer um, had probably between a, honestly, a 10 and a 50 percent chance of, of passing away probably within 30 days of the event when it, when it really comes down to it. But overall, William said he felt fine. Dr. Scott Tatum was perplexed. And when the, he came in and started to ask me about, well, what's your blood pressure, what's your... I pulled the phone out and showed him that, that app that tracks it for the last six, eight months. The data came from a health tech app called Withings. Dr. Tatum was impressed. This was my first experience having that much technology involved in a patient's care um, because I think it actually did make a difference in the way that we chose to um, escalate his care level. Dr. Tatum quickly removed the pulmonary embolism. William's stats immediately started to improve and he went home the next day. I was proud, yes, <laughs> that I had the answers. I had real answers, not remembered answers. There you go. As you can tell, William is a firm believer in tracking your own personal health data, especially after he saw the effects that it had on treating him and getting a diagnosis more quickly in a health emergency. He's just going to continue to keep tracking his health on his phone, especially as he has one very specific goal of trying to outlive his own mom, who lived to be almost 104. Back to you. Meredith, that's live for us. It's so important to just keep notes of what's going on, tracking the blood pressure, because the little things you never know when you talk to your doctor and that little bit of information you have could really go a long way. Really, yeah. Awesome there. Thank you so much, Meredith. Great story.